Okay, we're going to do a spring clean of our Miele, trusty Miele vacuum cleaner. We're going to replace the bag. What you may not be less aware of is that there are two other filters. This one here. They send you the filters with the bags. And there's one that you may never notice. It's over the fan. There's this chap here. Can you see that's really full of dust? So we never looked at that. And um, Mila sends you a uh, cut your own replacement for that. Okay? So there are three things to be cleaned or checked every time. The main dust bag. Got a new one, the filter for the main fan and a filter for the outlet there as well. Might as well re replace them all while you're at it. I cut the, the new uh, pads, filters to shape just along the dotted lines. Now let's fit them. So that the rectangular goes in there, just sure it fits into place, and then clicks. Okay, that's easy enough. You see, I've got the new one in there. Now let's get the upper one in. Clicks back in, so we've re replaced the rectangular filter there for the main input, and this upper one here. You can see it's now nice, clean, and white. Okay, let's replace the bag. See where the handle is at the top. Clicks out. That was jam-packed full, but I, I tried to empty it. Um, to, to reuse it, but that's that's actually a bit, probably a mistake. So there you've got the arrows, so you can't go wrong, and this clicks in, you'll hear it click. It's clicked in, that's nice. Okay, now we've got the bit that I like the least, um, which is getting the this section and the outer pipe uh, to marry. Okay, so I'll stop the video there. Okay, so I'm putting in this section in here. Doesn't click in or anything. I'm now going to lower the lid. Now look what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put two fingers in here and I'm going to pull that up. See? I pulled that and that needs to pull up flush. And that's clicked in. Okay, it's taken me years to learn how to do that. Let's do it again. Two hands, finger on the inside, locate, pull up, flush. Gently push in, and it's clicked on, on its own. Okay, that's it. Um, now the only other trick I always recommend for these things is before you dismantle anything, take a few photos for reference so you can look back to see how all the fits, bits fitted together. Over now, bye.